Hi Cancer, this is going to be a sneak peek um, intro um, for your February um, reading. It's going to be a heads up uh, upon what type of major experiences and themes some of you Cancers might be dealing with as we move deeper as well into Aquarius season. So as always, keep in mind that this is only a general reading, only take what it feels right and with what does resonate within your own life experiences during this time. If you would like to have a personal reading with me, please contact me through the email I put in the description box below. Or if you would like to donate and support my channel, you can also do that by following the PayPal link, which is also down below, such as my Facebook and Instagram pages. So Cancer, it does feel like the month of February and this Aquarius season asks you to concentrate a lot upon matters that require your concentration, your study, your observation. It's almost like it's one of those type of months where that beautiful, gorgeous, intuitive, emotionally attuned and connected side of you cancers needs to be operating, needs to be working um, so that you're not caught in any type of mistake, trap, deception. It's a tricky month because it's testing your levels of observation. If you're not paying attention, if you're blindsided by illusions, by fears, by anxieties, because that's suggested here, if you're not in your clean, purified state, your instincts might not be working as they should and then they might be making you, again, do something that you shouldn't do, say something you shouldn't say. You're also advised here throughout February to only say and reveal things when you are absolutely sure that you can trust. Um, the person or the um, entities that you're communicating and revealing whatever it is that you're revealing. It's almost like use your discernment. Don't spill, you know, your guts out. Don't spill your emotions. Don't spill your life out. Don't say things that are sacred and important to you. Don't reveal more than what you need because, again, there might be something um, in your entourage in your circles uh, that might be wanting to use that information against you or might be tempted to take away something that you could be uh, saying and put it in a wrong you know in a wrong way in a wrong uh, context so just be aware I feel like at times you could be uh, during February, you could be tempted at times to uh, say more than what you should because you might be going through some tension and difficulties. And when we're going through certain struggles is when we need to speak the most to, you know, lighten up the load here. And I'm feeling like because you're worried or concerned about something, that it might not be going, you know, very well in your life or in your family life as well. It could be an issue with the household. Um, you're just wanting to speak with someone or speak with your friends or speak with people about it because that's the way you can find some relief. But, again, use your intuition. You know right there at that level, who you can trust and who you can't. And I feel like if you feel you can't trust something or someone during February, you're most likely right. Your spider senses are alert. Your spider senses are really speaking to you more than usual to prevent you from, again, being involved in a situation that could just not be the best for you. It could it could be um, a situation that ends up bringing suffering, okay, more worries to your life. In another note, I feel like some of you are emotionally 
regenerating during um, during February. There's the regeneration that is emotionally uh, based, so you could be healing from a difficult situation, problem again that led you to this need to go more within and really search for the medicine. Um, really search for the medicine that you have been on need. For some of you, there's a small percentage of you that this could be speaking about health issues as well. It could be that you have been dealing with some health crisis or situation that impacted your health and you are in the road of recovery during February to make sure that you cleanse out, detox, purify again your energy. For some of you, there's something here about the length the lymphatic um, system, the, 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 which is about the drain, the, the part of our bodies that allows us to drain out a lot of, um, a lot of uh, waste and um, toxic residues here. I'm feeling something here about your lymph. Again, search it up. If you have been dealing with this, I feel like it's going to get better, but it's still a process in February. If you don't feel well, it could be a good time to make a checkup just to ease your mind, okay? Just to ease your mind. It could be uh, one of those times where uh, checkup, okay? Um, an actual proper diagnosis of what's going on with you. It's indicated as being positive because it's going to confirm, especially if you feel, if you receive a lot of the message that you should, uh, you know, make proper proper exams and or make a checkup, listen to that because it's going to help you understand what has been uh, keeping you from finding, you know, some proper balance. I feel like you have been lacking balance. You have been going through extremes of energy here. Either a lot of happiness, a lot of contentment, a lot of good energy, and then falling back into depression like that in an instant, in a second. So a lot of dual contrast forces as well operating in February for some of you cancers. So I hope this uh, short message intro was helpful and insightful. I hope it sparked your curiosity when it comes to the extended um, monthly tarot vision reading that I will obviously as well be making the next days. Uh, so yeah, hopefully we'll see and speak to each other soon.